Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, they had a magnitude 5.7 earthquake there near Salt Lake City. Magna West Valley City is the location. The earthquake occurred at 1109 uh, there, a depth of 11.7 kilometers. That would be about 7.2 miles in depth. It was followed by many earthquakes afterwards a magnitude 4.4 at the same depth. 38 earthquakes that they are reporting so far today. The felt reports over a very large area. I'll pull this down so you can see it. Uh, wow, look at this. All the way up to Yellowstone. Yeah, what did Yellowstone do? All the way up to Worland, it looks like. The population in Magna, Utah is about 26,000. Different Twitter posts says that the airport was still closed. Borehole strain meters as it came in. I'll show you that post. That one was right there. Uh, Magna, Utah was that one. Uh, more Twitter posts. Random things felt throughout the apartment. I'm sure they got damaged. Looks like they're waiting for an official news announcement. Here's some Twitter posts uh, from KSL Channel 5 TV. Yeah, all I can say is, wow, look at the damage. Looks like right here their window actually fell out of its frame. There's the frame for the window. More images of things that fell off the counters, out of drawers. Yeah, it would be easy to secure stuff. Another Twitter post of broken water lines there at the airport. Yeah. Yeah, the masonry that falls. Another image of masonry bricks that fell. Lots of aftershocks. Here we have uh, Moose Creek, Idaho and Denny Creek. I'll go back an hour. Um, so it shows the signature better. Look at that. And I'll go back another hour. Yeah. Lots of aftershocks. I'll go forward another hour. And another hour. These are all aftershocks here. See that? This is the effect that it had at Yellowstone. The live, the, uh, live webcam. Let's see if I can pull this over. Sometimes when I pull it over, it screws up my recording. Twenty-six thousand seven hundred and thirty-nine people reported the five point seven, and then the four point four, eight hundred and ninety-nine. Well, you know that was more than that, and they do have a moment tensor ball on here. Do they have one on this one? Yes, they do. Okay, and I've talked about the moment tensor ball before. The initial shock wave of the earthquake came straight up. Tension was applied going northeast. And then for the other moment tensor ball, uh, this one, the, the P wave, the first initial wave of the earthquake, came straight up and tension was applied going in the opposite direction which would be uh, southwest. Yeah, I am sure a lot more people felt the 4.4. They just didn't report it. Um, yeah, that's as far. Not as far. They're just not reporting. We got two more earthquakes since I started this report. Let me pull it out. Let me go in. Sorry about that. Um, a 2.6, another 2.6. That'd be that one and that one. I hope Ron is okay there. Uh, Ron, give me a call if you can. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to call you. I accidentally deleted all the phone numbers from my, um, my cell phone. Yeah, don't ask me how I did that. Had a momentary brain fart, I think. Um, I really hope people are okay. I would not be surprised if there's injuries um, for all the masonry and things that fell. Yeah. 
sending prayers to everyone. Yeah. Um, like I said, things are changing here on the earth. We're going to start seeing more large earthquakes like this. And people need to be prepared ahead of time. Not after a disaster happens. And if there is a large earthquake, um, you need to be prepared in the sense that you're on your own for a while. There's the airport right there. Um, where cell phones don't work, uh, communication for emergency services don't work, broken water lines, broken gas lines, fires, things like that. This is absolutely terrible. Yeah. Um, sending prayers. Please, please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.